Hello, I'm a Tuba George. Now, this has been an exciting two weeks. We've been talking about working or living in divine health. Um, yesterday, day before yesterday, I began going to the practicality. How does this thing work? It works, praise God, because it's the truth. Now, he said in Romans 8, verse 11, If the spirit of him that raised Christ from the dead dwells in us, he that raised Christ from there will also vitalize our mortal bodies by, the, by his spirit that dwells in us. So it is God who quickens us by the Holy Spirit. Now remember, John said something in 1 John chapter 1 verse 3. That which we have seen and heard declare we unto you, that you also may have fellowship with us. And truly, get this, and truly our fellowship is with the Father and with his Son, Jesus Christ. Did you see that? John says, I'm writing to you so that you also will have fellowship with us. Then he now says, truly our fellowship is with the Father and with his Son, Jesus Christ. Now how come he didn't mention the Holy Spirit? Have you thought about that? No, we, we, we all know the Trinity, you know, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Spirit. But then he says, truly, our fellowship is with the Father and with his Son, Jesus Christ. But you know the truth? We fellowship with the Father through the Holy Spirit. We fellowship with the Son through the Holy Spirit. Now, sometimes people don't know the difference. But see, if you walk with the Lord enough, you will understand when you're dealing with the Father. And you will understand when you're dealing with the Son. And it's all through the Holy Spirit. So like, what are you talking about? You see, there are certain things, there is no way it can be explained to you until you begin to experience it. Now, when you begin to experience now, for example, those of you that experience what I'm telling you, as I'm saying this now, I say, yeah, hey. you know, more like I'm putting to words some things you have been experiencing. You say, yes, because that's why it works. If you, if you are not experiencing this, just relax and just say, Lord, okay, you know what? I want to start experiencing this. Then you will understand what we're talking about. There, is no, there are no words to describe it. See, the Holy Spirit is the one that has been given to us. Now, that's why Jesus said he will not testify of himself. See, what does he do? He testifies of the Father. He testifies of the Son. That's what the Holy Spirit is doing inside of us. So when God brings healing, how does God bring healing? He sends his word. See, that's what David said in the book of Psalms. He sent his word and he healed them. So he sends his word. Now, how do you get the word? By the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit inside of you begins to break down this word. See, just like just like the way our body, uh, the, the, the metabolism in our body, you know, the way it breaks down food and it becomes useful to our whole system. Now, that's how the Holy Spirit... Now, God says, I have healed you. Yes, but how? The Holy Spirit begins to break it down. Now, that's why he said, you must pay attention to his word. Now, when you carry the Bible and you begin to read... The reason you should be reading the Bible is not to learn. The reason you should be reading the Bible is to hear. Are you getting me? It's to hear. So we don't read the Bible. We listen to the word of God. I pick this thing up as I'm reading. My ears are open to hear him. If you don't hear him, then all your reading comes to nothing. I'm telling you the truth. So, the secret of divine health is simple. The Holy Spirit teaches us in our hearts. He discusses with us. You see, now let me tell you something. The Holy Spirit can be talking to you about finances. But just like Jesus, the words that I speak unto you. So, actually, it's not the Holy Spirit that is speaking. It is the Lord Jesus that is speaking through the Holy Spirit. Are you getting it? So, those words he brings to us. As we receive his word, and that's what you should do. 
even right now, as you're listening to me, listening in your heart, the Holy Spirit is speaking to you. And those words he's bringing to you is exactly what you need to be healed. Thank you, Lord Jesus. So right now, can you get up from the seat where you're seated? Just stand up. And you will discover the pain in your legs is gone. Yeah, just get up and begin to walk around. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Just get up, begin to do what you couldn't do before. I'm telling you the truth. I'm telling you the truth. Not because I'm saying it. I'm saying this because that's what I hear the Holy Spirit say inside of me. So begin to tell them to do this now. And as you're doing this, he is even speaking inside of you some more. He is telling you how to go about it. And let me tell you something. Every situation you find yourself right now, I pray even now that the Holy Spirit will open your understanding to receive wisdom and you will know exactly what to do. This weekend, miracles are taking place in your life, in your finances, in your health. Let me tell you something. Send this message to anyone you know that have been sick and you will see the testimony that will come out of it. See, because God specially said, do this broadcast because I want to heal my children and I want them to come to the place of the truth. Let the Holy Spirit bring perfect healing in your life right now. From the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Someone is being healed in the feet. Yes, your feet, your feet is healed right now. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Someone's sore is drying up. You are completely healed. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We bless you, Lord, for every miracle you're doing right now in their homes, in their lives. We just give you praise, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. I would really, really like to hear from you. And if this broadcast has been a blessing to you, write or send us a message on the platforms on, on the screen. Let's know what God is doing in your life. Praise God. And continue sharing this video. Share it. God bless you. Until next week, this is Atuba George. Bye-bye.